Hey, eighth grade band, it's Mrs. Ellis. Just uh, trying to get you guys all logged in uh, to Smart Music so that we can maybe do a final piece for us uh, with the help of maybe Ambrose helping us merge all these parts together. So what I need you guys to do is make sure that you log into the uh, home.smartmusic.com and go to the login screen and follow the directions that I sent you in a video earlier about and the code to log in to Smart Music. If you've done that correctly, you should be able to get to this area right over here. And what I want you to do is I want you to go over to the thing that says band and orchestra right there. And you're going to click on that. And when you click on that, it's going to bring you to this screen right here. And I want you to type in the word words, CARPA, C-A-R-P-E space diem, D-I-E-M, and enter that. You're going to see uh, a couple programs here, a couple selections. Choose the top one by Rob Grice. Click on that. Then you're going to go over to open. And you're going to go over to your instrument should be showing if you registered correctly. But let's just say, as I am, I'm a trumpet player. So I'm going to scroll down to trumpet, B flat trumpet. And then it's going to ask me for my part. So if I've assigned you a part, like let's say I signed you first trumpet part, I'm going to click first trumpet. And then I'm going to go to open. And then it's going to do this thing where it loads the program and the accompaniment on. Now you're going to see the entire song Carpe Diem. Now this is going to be super important. Up here, right up here where I've circled in the top left, you're going to see that this recording is at 134 beats per minute. You can slow this down, and you're going to need to slow this down once you've got this learned. So when you send the recording, you're actually going to slow this down to 124 beats per minute. That's how we're going to work up to that speed. We're not going to go any faster than that for this project. Okay, so whatever you do, if you need to even start slower while you're practicing it, start slower. But what you're going to do when you record it is make sure that when you submit this to me, it's at 124 beats per minute, or it's not going to line up when we try to do this virtual concert thing where Ambrose is going to merge all these parts together. So super important. Okay, so now you're going to see up here, you're going to see a couple tabs. Okay, the green is to practice. Stick an earbud in, practice along with the band recording and practice your part. Okay, you can report. Re uh, start wherever you want and, and uh, stop it wherever you want. When you've learned your part really, really well, only when you've learned your part really, really well, you're going to press this red button up here, right inside there. That's your record button. Again, making sure that you're at 124 beats per minute when you do this. You're going to press record and you're going to record yourself until you can get a score that's around 95%. Don't submit anything that's less than 95%. Otherwise, it's not going to probably sound good when we merge all the parts together. So you're going to record yourself playing this piece, Carpe Diem. Or maybe you only want to record yourself playing part of it. And maybe Ambrose can add you into the part where you're able to play. I don't know. We're going to work on this and see if it works. But the idea is to try to get the entire song recorded. And so once you have that recorded, you're going to be able to save it to your downloads folder. It will ask you, do you want to save it? You're going to save it. It'll go to your downloads folder. And then you're going to send it to me. Okay. You're going to send it to me. And it should come to me in an assignment on Google Classroom when I post that as an option. I should be able to send that to Ambrose and he can mess around with that and try to edit it. Okay. So this is our hope is to get Carpe Diem learned. It means seize the day. And I can't think of a better song to try doing. Um, and, and Ambrose has graciously offered to try making this work. So I'm hoping that uh, this piece will be fun to learn and I will see you soon.